Guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm gonna to be doing a massage for the lovely Jessica and we are gonna be doing a um, upper back focus type massage with um, you know, a few things that you might not think of. This video has been brought to you by Cacao Bliss. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm actually gonna start with something that's really good for um, warming up the lats and kind of um, loosening up these attachments a little bit. So the lats connect um, pretty close to the sacrum. So I like to start with um, just some gentle shaking to kind of loosen this whole sacral area up a little bit and encourage these lats um, to let go of any gripping. So I know it might seem kind of counterintuitive to do um, any work on the the lower part of the body if you're working on the upper, but it's all like way more connected than you realize. So with the shaking, um, you know, I've had this done in a way that's fast and vigorous that feels really nice. Um, I usually like to kind of find a happy medium and just really focusing on these attachments in here. Um, and I'm also just paying attention to if there's any gripping in the hips and just taking my time. And um, you can also like kind of spread your hands out a little more. It feels a little more secure. And yeah, just warming this area up a little bit. Um, since I'm here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and work on this medius muscle a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of work on this glute muscle because it's definitely um, interconnected with the lats for sure. So I'm just gonna kinda warm everything up here. And there's a very big difference between like mindlessly kind of shaking and really being in tune with your client. So really just staying present as I'm working. And uh, right now I really like to give myself that extra support whenever I can. So I'm actually just protecting my wrist joints um, by kind of doing this. And it might seem like you're not doing a whole lot to your client, but this is really um, effective for warming up um, the areas that I'm ultimately gonna be working on today. And uh, yeah, just using kind of a medium pressure on this medius muscle. And uh, I'm not gonna spend much longer here. Just taking my time and I'm kind of uh, noticing my lower back is hurting and that's usually a sign that I need to like spread my feet further apart when I'm working, really paying attention to my own body. So without losing contact, I'm gonna go ahead and um, come over here. So it's just the same idea. So just finding a, you know, rhythm that my, my client's comfortable with. And, you know, you can do this um, same technique for different reasons. So I might do this in other sessions more for the hip joints or whatever it may be, but today it's really about um, the lats is my main focus and um, just helping, encouraging the sacrum to soften. Sometimes when there's gripping in that medius muscle, it can pull on the sacrum. So that's another reason I'm just taking a little bit of time here in a minute to do just some light, light compressions. Mm. 
I could also just, you know, do a static hold, but usually it's more interesting if you can do two techniques at the same time. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm not spending a whole lot of time here. go ahead and um, stretch out this low back a little bit so I'm just gonna you can use a soft fist when you're doing this or you can use a um, flat hand I, I've actually been liking this technique a little better I mean it's more effective than this but you can do both just really encouraging that whole sacral area to um, let go of any gripping. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my oil here. It smells so nice. Um, so because I'm working on the lats, I'm going to go ahead and apply the oil a little different than I normally would. So I'm just going to, I really like to get my client, um, more like body aware of the different muscles I'm working on. And I like to kind of give them a heads up. So I usually try to include the main muscles I'm working on like when I'm getting started and I'm gonna go ahead and start to do a little bit of work here in the lats so it's a superficial muscle and it can be easy to forget that um, the lats can carry a lot of tension so this is a really straightforward way to start just getting into these lats a little bit. So just working in towards the spine is a really nice way to um, save yourself as a therapist and it usually just feels really nice for your client. And I'm not trying to do anything fancy here, I'm just kind of warming everything up. You can work your way into these, um, this trapezius a little bit and it can feel really nice to do a little bit of lengthening if you're moving your hands in opposite directions. And I really love um, doing petrissage on the lats. Usually it just feels really nice. And some therapists like to do kind of a, a fast petrissage, so you can do it, you know, as fast or as slow as you like. So just finding a rhythm that feels good. So it's like you're kneading bread almost. And uh, is just a great way to work on the lats. Um, it's great for circulation and just really getting rid of old blood and introducing, introducing nice fresh oxygen to the muscles. And again, you can go as slow or as fast as you want with that petrissage. Just finding a rhythm that feels nice. Um, when you are doing petrissage, like it's better to have a nice wide stance. Because um, when you're doing 
like a quicker movement can be harder to keep that body awareness when you're working. And it's just really fun to kind of work from the lats into the trapezius and kind of include both. That was really nice. And I would have to get a little more oil. So I'm going to do that same kind of sequence on opposite side. And uh, yeah, just finding a rhythm and trying not to be choppy in my movements, really trying to um, be fluid and how I'm working. And more than anything, I'm just getting that oil on there and I'm going to start getting into this soft tissue a little bit and I need to widen my stance. I tell you, like, if you have low back pain when you're working as a therapist, like, nine times out of ten, you just need to widen your stance and work from your core more. And I'm working on the erector spinae a little bit. Um, definitely like superficially, but including them a little bit. And you, you probably are gonna feel um, more comfortable working like when my left like when my left hand is like my dominant, when I'm having, when it, it has to be my dominant hand, I don't feel as comfortable because it's not my, um, I'm right side dominant. So you might feel a little more fluid. Like when I was working on this side, it just feels like easier. That's okay. And sometimes I'll do like less of a technique if I'm not feeling as um, comfortable on that side. And I'm gonna go ahead and move into some petrissage, just making sure that I have a nice wide stance as I'm working. And uh, I think I'm gonna work a little bit quicker. It just feels, feels better for right now. And yeah, this is a superficial muscle. So doing this kind of petrissage work is just a really effective way to, um, get, you know, start with the lats. And when I'm doing this petrissage, I'm not really doing as much with my arms as I am with like my whole body. So, just working with my core. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, focus on these erector muscles a little bit more. Just going in with the heels of my hands and really um, paying attention to these muscles around the sacrum. Also, um, just scanning Jessica's spine to see where there might be a little bit of scar tissue in these muscles or where I might need to go a little bit deeper. My favorite way to do lat work, deeper lat work, is with my forearms. do plenty of that here in a minute. And I'm gonna need 
to grab a little bit more oil. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that plenty of oil to start. And um, I'm gonna head right into some more lat work. So I'm gonna just go ahead and work my way in. So this is a more neutral way to work this muscle um, using this broad surface area. Um, if you're working on someone that has a lot of sensitivity in their mid back, this is a great way to work both the lats and the erector spinae. Um, it can be a little um, more difficult to do this forearm work on someone with a small frame like Jessica, but um, it's still a really nice way to work. So I wanna focus on providing a little bit more length. So anytime that you're moving your hands or your forearms in opposite directions on a muscle or muscle group, you're helping to stretch that area out and become less contracted. And I'm gonna work my way into this um, medius a little bit, but I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here. I think one of the funnest things about massage is kind of learning how to weave everything together in a way that feels really interesting to you as a therapist. So more focused on the lats on my way down and as I work my way back up the body, I'm gonna focus more on this erector spinae and really encouraging um, these muscles to let go of gripping, gripping on the spine, just being a little more flexible. If you're struggling with your client um, being ticklish in this area, usually like adding a little more pressure is better than less. And you can also um, get into these lats a little bit more. Um, just be a little careful when you're doing this, this kind of work. If somebody doesn't have a lot of body fat, you just have to be careful of um, not hitting their ribs or anything. And I'm going to head right into um, the trapezius. Um, because Jessica wants more of a, she doesn't want a super deep tissue massage, so I'm gonna use more surface area on my forearm than I would if somebody wanted a really deep tissue. So I'm gonna start just working my way up. I love using my forearm when I'm doing back work just, it's really effective and usually feels really nice. I might do a little bit of trigger point in these shoulder blades. And again, just kind of checking in. I feel like I need to widen my stance because my low back um, always tells me if I need to change position. And I like to include both sides before I move to the opposite side. So before I um, dive in to Jessica's right side, I'm just gonna kind of reset with just that nice work along the spine. And uh, so I'm gonna just move right on into it. 
So I'm just gonna um, start working my way into these lats. And um, again, you do need to be a little bit careful if you're working on someone that doesn't have a lot of body fat. Um, just be careful of pressing on those ribs when you're working. And I'm gonna start in with both forearms, just like I did on the opposite side. So you can, um, you know, make the stroke as broad as you want. You can just keep moving into those traps even if you want, as you work your way down along those lats. It can feel really nice. And um, doing little micro movements can be really effective here too. If you're wanting to lengthen. And I'm gonna go ahead and work my way into the medius. And uh, you know, sometimes the sacral area can be a little bit feel a little bit bony if you're working on a smaller framed person. So just an important area to um, be working on the right spot. So just working on this medius a little bit. And uh, before you know it, you can go really um, deeper than you realize when you're working with your elbow. So just really uh, staying present and making sure I'm not going too deep. And finally, I'm gonna start um, in on this erector spinae, really um, just stretching these muscles away from the spine so it can be a little more elastic. And uh, again, you can kinda get into these lats a little bit more. I'm just having to be a little bit careful because Jessica is a smaller framed person. And working my way into the trapezius. And uh, definitely feeling a little bit more tension in this right shoulder. So I'm gonna a little extra time here in this trap. I remember when I was first starting massage, working, um, doing trigger point with my elbow felt really intimidating, but the more you practice it, just like the more fun it gets and the easier it feels. But you can always do like stacked thumbs if you're kind of struggling with getting the um, sensitivity that you need. This is a great way to do trigger point in here. Or can do stacked fingers. It's all good, good techniques. And uh, just spend a little bit more time in this shoulder. And even if it's just really briefly, if I do a technique on this side, I like to kind of keep it all balanced from right to left. Um, And this trapezius goes all the way up the back side of the neck. So whenever I do that kind of work, I make sure that I include as much of the muscle as I can. And I really like to end um, 
most of my massages with this kind of work just really encouraging this connective tissue along the spine to stretch and relax a little bit especially after that um, the work I did on the erector muscles it's a really good way to kind of finish up that work and this is also something you can go as fast or as slow as you want just whatever feels good and if somebody um, you know has a chronic issue along their their mid back doing this kind of work is just really important it's easy to forget about that connective tissue when you're a therapist and really important to include that kind of work somewhat and that is all the time that we have for today guys go ahead and finish up thank you for joining us today guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video and i look forward to seeing you next time this video has been brought to you by Cacao Bliss, a decadent blend of 10 organic superfoods, including raw ceremonial grade cacao. Satisfy your chocolate cravings with a burst of antioxidants and other nutrients. Also available in Cacao Bliss Bites that you can easily enjoy while you're on the go. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 